Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and we're back with another Epic Universe update. But this update is about what is coming to each land. So previously, we did a video on what rides are coming to the Dark Universe. And I wanted to do all four lands, but I uh, never got so busy, never got to do the rest of the lands. So we're going to go now with the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, that same idea. What rides and shows and attractions and everything are coming to the Ministry of Magic. Now, Universal will have official reveals, just like they did for, for Celestial Park. They'll have official reveals for each of these lands, and we'll do more, uh, where they have more concept art and detail, and we'll go into all of that when it happens. Probably, uh, next up will be Super Nintendo World on March 10th, most likely for Mario Day. Then, by I'll do some every month until June, then it'll be all done. But this is based on information you know from the wonderful Alicia Stella and other sources about what is going to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Ministry of Magic. Alright, so as you can see from BioReconstruct's photos, if, or if you've been following this channel for a while and looking at the updates from BioReconstruct photos, you can see that this Wizarding World is set in Paris. It's, it was meant to be off the Fantastic Beast franchise for those Shio movies uh, box office bombed. But nevertheless, Paris is a fantastic setting for any theme park land, especially because these buildings are being built to scale. You can see these, there's a five-story buildings, and there's like, like five mini streets you can go to. It's almost like a Paris Diagon Alley, which is really cool. And all these buildings aren't just facades either. There'll be some restaurants, like some quick service restaurants, some shops, obviously, to go in. And plenty of upgraded, upgraded wand experiences that will be um, in the area as well. Because this is halfway based on the Fantastic Beasts franchise, you can expect lots of animatronic creatures from uh, the series and random creatures in the windows and also to be part of the wand experiences as well. This area was gonna ha is going to have two attractions. It's supposed to have three, but there was a canceled, uh, the Harry Potter broomstick, of, uh, VR broomstick attraction was canceled again, thankfully, because that sounded like a horrible, horrible attraction. So that is just a big expansion space, and that expansion space already has a plan for it, at least part of it, and then uh, a bigger space for a new ride. But as of right now, we have a one massive e-ticket attraction and a show that are going to be part of this land at opening. So first, let's get into the attraction. This massive, massive e-ticket attraction is going to be one of the, it's certainly actually the biggest, I think the biggest show building in the park and certainly going to be one of the best attractions in the park as well. The attraction, you're going to get to this attraction in using the flu network. They're going to call something called a Metro flu. So just like in the movies, they use the flu network world. Well, this is be called the Metro flu. It's like a subway system, right? And you're going to use that to get from Paris to Brit uh, London. And you're going to do this by in the queue. You can extend, extend the queue. will probably start off in Paris. And you go inside the um, ministry, the Paris ministry. And then you're going to use the flu network to get to the British ministry. And it'll be just like that wonderful scene when they go into the British ministry of magic in the movie. And it'll be just as grand as that with the statue and everything. And all those fireplaces. You're going to use fireplaces to get um, use the flu network. So it'll be quite astonishing. And then we'll get to the attraction itself. The attraction itself has a storyline. The storyline is Professor Umbridge is on trial. And then Voldemort's team comes in and tries to escape, getting her to escape. Um, or she tries to get to escape and try to try to, you know, bring Voldemort back. And we have to go try and catch her and bring her back and make her stand trial and get arrested for her crimes. And this is going to be very cool because the ride system is be like an upgraded Transformers vehicle, an upgraded Scoop type of vehicle. That's the best way can I can describe it. It could be a totally different ride, like won't, may not be the Scoop vehicle, but it's uh, that's the best way I can describe it because this ride system sounds quite insane. So this new upgraded Scoop vehicle will kind of simulate you in being those elevators you know, in the ministry the elevators can go up and down and sideways and this is exactly what you're going to do in this vehicle you're going to get in the scoop vehicle and it's going to rise and fall as you're traversing along the track and also move sideways just like the elevator and i'm sure there'll be projection mapping and maybe some screens to like make it feel like you're going hundreds of stories up and down when you're really going to go just about two or three stories up and down the attractions going up and down like that should uh, simulate some nice drop sequences, not like actual drops, but going down will, will almost be like the scene at Rise of the Resistance, the last scene, kind of on wheels. So if you took that 
um, the drop and rise of the resistance and simulated like 10 times up and down and moving along a track. That's basically what you're getting with this amazing ride. With this ride, I expect there to be plenty of screens, of course, to send, like I said, to simulate the up and down motion and the fact that you're going up hundreds of stories on an elevator. But I also expect to be animatronics, hopefully, of some of the figures, like Professor Umbridge and maybe some of the jury of the council and other animatronic figures, maybe even of Ron, Harry, and uh, Hermione. And then, when you're done with the attraction, you'll exit back through the Metro Flu Network back into Paris, and you'll be back in a uh, different time zone. I think this is the Paris version. The land is set like in the 1800s, and they, specific, they specify that the ride will be set in like the 1920s, so you'll won't be just going through the Metro Flume Network, but you'll also be going through time. And the second major attraction for this land will be a show, one of like one of two shows in each, well actually there's multiple shows in the Epic Universe, but the, I can only really think of three shows right now, the Celestial Park show, How to Train Your Dragon, the Untrainable show, and this show. Now, this will be reminiscent of that circus that you go through, or that you watch in Fantastic Beasts. In fact, it'll be just like that, so you, uh, rumor has it you're going to enter through a circus tent, and I'm sure there'll be plenty of crazy creatures and uh, tricks and shows and, and inside the circus tent, and it'll be like a circus show, but with Fantastic Beasts characters. So you have the circus show, the major attraction, the wand experiences, of course, the shops and restaurants. Um, I'm sure highly themed quick service restaurants. But then I mentioned that big expansion pad. And like some of it's been earmarked. Well, what has it been earmarked for? Well, let me tell you. According to Alicia Stella, rumors have it that the Great Hall experience will be the first expansion at Epic Universe, but also the first expansion in the Harry Potter area. This is rumored to be a massive dinner show with projection mapping on the ceiling and a whole bunch of special effects and rumored to cost $150 per person. They say if this experience is popular, then they have a room to build a second uh, dinner show or second like table or seating area and they share the same, these two dinner shows would share the same, share, share the same kitchen and be, uh, again, each $150 per person and be quite the experience but even if the dinner show does come there's still a massive massive spot for an actual second a second actual ride and that has uh, no plans just yet we don't know no rumor we don't know any rumors about that but yeah so we have just right now the dinner show is the first expansion of epic universe a rumor there then of course there's some expansions for the hub as well planned or slice your park and then but yes harry potter down the line get an entire second attraction to complement its main e-ticket attraction. And that is it. That is your preview of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Ministry of Magic. Now, we also did a preview of, again of the Dark Universe. I'll link that up above to the right hand side. You can go check that out. That right now seems to be everyone's most anticipated land, including mine. But this land is pretty cool too. I'm excited for the uh, Ministry of Magic. Are you? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about that proposed rumored ride system and the show concept for this attraction? And, of course, upgraded wand experiences, which would be pretty cool. Those upgraded wand experiences, by the way, are going to roll out in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Hogsmeade, and Diagon Alley this year before they roll out in Epic Universe. So you'll be able to experience some of that as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you want to contribute or support the channel, check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash club722. Check out exclusive perks and posts and all that good stuff. The link is down below, but I'll put it on the screen as well. All the perks you can enjoy. And again, it's patreon.com slash club722. Also, press the like button and subscribe to the channel and have a magical day.